Hi, I'm Patrick Marshall here with Craft 101 for Bird. And we've been going over some tutorials on using the Weaver 2 theme. Um, we went on using some of the uh, sub themes that you can have picked. Weaver has several that you can pick from and see what you want. And then we went on into changing the header and the background image. And is there use some of these other themes like uh, 2011, 2010, some of those are going to go ahead and be about the same on changing the head and the background image. And so this will help with those also. And we're going to go ahead and go back into the site that we've been working on. And here it is. It looks a lot better than it did earlier, I think. I like it better this way. Um, you can see that we went ahead and we put a background image. And use the, a lot of times I'll just use the color, but I think I might leave the background image on this one for now. And this is just a picture that was uh, that came with my laptop, and I just cropped it and put that in there. I'll do something else with it later. But as I said, a lot of times you just want to get the site up and running, and then you can go ahead and, and do this more. If you've got a company or something and you're branding yourself, you want to go ahead and have your logo and everything else on there to start with. Uh, but if you've got a new blog you're starting with, go ahead and just, you know, um, you, can, you can go back and change it later. That's a cool thing. It's just easy to change. Now we're going on even to the dashboard, and under Appearance, you can find the Weaver 2 Admin, and you want to click on that. And we're going into the main options, and this shows you some of the different things you can change and customize. And what it does is it lets you change the colors, and you can go in and just change the colors. Now the outside background, that's the background we just changed here by giving it that denim picture and thing, and so it... Um, this overrides what you put here. If you do nothing here and leave it blank, then this one will take effect. But otherwise, this overrides it. This one right here is the wrapper background. And you can see it has the same color there. Uh, you can go in there and you can, you can change the color for something else. It even has a nice little thing that will come up here. And you can put different things in here. Let's say that we just, oh, for the heck of it, we just put a red one there and hit save settings. I'm going to go back to the color, but I just want you to see how this works. What it is that we're actually changing here. See that whole area there has changed and it went to another color. So you can go ahead and change that. I like to pick a sub theme that goes close to what you want, and then you can tweak and change the colors there if you wish. This is the color of your text. This is the regular text on your your uh, site. Uh, there'll be certain things, titles, and other things that'll be changed, but this is what the basic will be unless it's something else is telling it. Then you have this main color here. Um, I'll go ahead and put something on it just so you can see it. Okay. And you can see that little bit of yellow showing up in there. And a little bit of yellow behind this. This is kind of behind everything here. Uh, it's got the uh, other boxes, the post boxes, and these other things sitting on top of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that back where it was. And on these themes, you can also call them transparent if you want. And where you have this extra here, you can put some of the CSS rules. So like in here, you can go in and maybe you want to have a background image instead of a color. And you can put a background image in these different sections right there. I have some rounded corners. On my site, and this can be content can be rounded corners too. Just check and uncheck it however you want. You can change the size of the radius, the fade the outside background. I'll show you how that works, or you can wrap the site with a shadow. Here I am. This has got the fade one on here working, and you can see this is the rounded corners. Anyway, this is the general appearance on your uh, main options, and I'll be right back with the next one.